So I wasn't gonna do this video in the beginning, but then I found out that my boy Chris from Prank Invasion blocked one of his fans for asking if one of his videos is real. He stepped the line because to me, my fans are everything. To see that he blocked one of his fans for questioning if his videos are real or not, which they're not, they're not real. Like if you think they are, they're not. So Manavi, I'm gonna expose you today. So just to make things clear, Christopher from Prank Invasion, he's still innocent until proven guilty because, you know, we live in such a great country. And this is just my compelling evidence that I have against him to show you guys that this guy's a scumbag. To me, I think he's guilty. Um, I think he should be charged as a criminal. But anyway, let's get right to it. So there appears to be this place online called the Warrior Forum where... People just go on there and, you know, teach other people or tell other people how to make extra income, right? So either, you know, they can keep working and make some extra income on the side or even, you know, quit their job and just do this full time. So this is when we get introduced to Crystal Love. Pretty much what Crystal Love is telling you is this Google 911 is like trying to make money on the internet in 1994, completely untapped gold mine. Even the elderly are getting rich. In summary... What she's telling you is a step-by-step -step instruction on teaching you how to make $7,000 a month right off the bat. She's going to provide you the information on how to do so. All you got to do is pay her $25 and, you know, she's going to send you an invite to her um, secret forum and she's going to show you step-by-step -step how to make $7,000 right off the bat. Starting as you scroll through this page, you see that she hypes up this product by name dropping an older product that supposedly did very well called Google Mac. And I have sales experience of my own. And let me tell you, this shit right here is making it seem like we're about to get rich tomorrow or even today is how she's hyping it up, making it seem like it's some amazing shit that's going to just print money. And apparently everybody that has bought the product is doing great. Um... They're giving her great reviews. They're saying how, wow, they can't believe this method is amazing. And I'm just going to go ahead and scroll through um, this like really quick because uh, there's a lot of people that posted a lot of great stuff about this product. And you know her, you know, like name dropping how much money she is making or how much money she can make you. And the link is in the description if you want to go ahead and read it yourself. All the evidence is there. So everything seems to be going good. Um, everyone's paying her the $25. They're all getting the information. Until this guy right here, you know, questions her with logic. So this is where the shit's about to get good. Once, you know, people are starting to use this product and seeing that, you know, um, what she's claiming in the first page is bullshit and something's not right. So this guy questions her bullshit and Stacy, she is fucking appalled. She cannot believe this guy. How dare he question her? How dare he ask some questions about a method that uh, didn't work for him? While well, it worked for everybody else. Uh, so um, obviously the guy's an idiot. And Stacy over here, Stacy Love, uh, which you can see is banned for good reasons. Uh, you know, she gets him back good. I'm, I'm not going to read this for you. Like I said, the link is in the description. You, you can go and read it on your own. But pretty much he, um, he confronted her and she confronted him back. Then all the questioning stopped and people kept buying the product. Um, I mean, Stacey's doing a really good job making sure that this product seems to be working. And everyone believes it. You know, people keep buying it. Like, look at this woman's transaction ID. Like, she bought it. Even after the guy questioned her and exposed her. So now introducing Michael Lee. He uses his logic as well to, you know, warn everybody that, you know, um, obviously this product is total bullshit. And how can a noob... Somebody that's brand new to what these people at Warrior Forum do is able to make seven thousand dollars right off the bat. These people have no posts, and they're they're brand new to this website. So how can somebody that's never tried something be so good at it right off the bat? Is this product really that good? And this guy, I mean, I don't know much about this industry, but this guy seems to clearly point out that you can't just do that. You cannot just give somebody twenty five dollars and earn that much money. There's no way. And so then Crystal Love poses him by saying that all he does is go on other people's um, chat rooms or threads and just tells them that um you know their product sucks and that his product is the best but my boy is not stopping there my boy is persistent so what happens after this you know um is what shocked me because this is where we're gonna connect
connect the dots here. How? What does this have to do with prank invasion? Introducing Andrew Manavi, the guy who kisses all those girls. Just to be clear, this is prank invasion. This is Chris. Um, you know, um, the guy that you know fakes all of his videos is a scumbag and is also a criminal. The owner of, of this account is not Andrew himself. He just someone who made the account to expose Andrew. He goes on to explain that Andrew made the Crystal Love account and he's using a tactic called e to sell his product. But then the amount of digging that this guy did is ridiculous. Like, it is really crazy. He made a seven minute video explaining Chris and all of his scams. Cause this is not the first one of his scams. He has a lot more. And in the video that this guy made, the guy that made this account right here, the Andrew Manavi account, he made this video and he exposes the fuck out of Chris. It is so bad how he connected all the dots. He really outdid himself. I'm going to play that video right now for you guys just so you guys could see how much of a scumbag Chris from Prank Invasion really is. Now, if you're still confused or you're like shocked about what you just saw, don't worry, there's a website where somebody make, just puts it all out in clear writing. It's it's um it's on scams.com and it's pretty much just somebody you know that's um that just says exactly what happened and what's going on and you know warning people about the scam from um Drew and Crystal Love. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys exactly what this guy posted on here, and pretty much this guy Stephen T posted, I'm posting this information to help prevent others, people from falling victim to the internet scammer, Andrew Manavi. Working under the name Crystal Love in the internet marketing forum called, called Warrior Forum, Manavi set up an online forum and created a secret club of people who each paid $100 to be part with promises of great wealth. As information is revealed, members are giving little information and are asked to give positive reviews of Manavi's next information product to help drive sales which explains why so many people were giving amazing reviews in the first forum minavi only known as drew announces he will create fictitious warrior forum accounts to post more positive reviews suspicions build and members begin questioning the legitimacy and identity of Drew and Crystal Love. Members were banned from his forum, and there was no evidence that Crystal Love ever existed. Minavi claims his forum was hacked, and the San Francisco police and FBI are investigating. Minavi has not communicated since. The San Francisco division of the FBI has been contacted to verify the investigation. To date, no response has been received. Thankfully, Drew's true identity was revealed. He lives in San Francisco area. He claimed to be a Harvard graduate, but is not. He is a 22 years of age. He has committed fraud against approximately 50 people for thousands of dollars. Chris escaped from scamming so many people without facing any legal actions, even though he committed fraud. So now that you know this, do you really think Chris really kisses all those girls or just pays them? He obviously pays them. He deceives his viewers to make them think that he really kisses all those girls. He makes it seem like it really is that simple. He also has a brand new product where he wants to skim his subscribers. For the price of $29.99, he's gonna teach you how to get any girl you want in 30 seconds and be making out with her. Now he's obviously gonna use his fake videos as evidence and proof that his method actually works. Now, I don't know if this counts as fraud on the same level as his other scams, but morally, this is really fucked up. Because obviously he doesn't care about his fans, he doesn't care about his subscribers, all this guy cares about is the money. Thousands of people will buy this product thinking it's real, when in reality, it's not gonna work. Unless Chris is gonna teach you how to give these girls money in 30 seconds and make them make out with you, then his product is a lie. Listen, there's so many great pranksters out there that do real videos, that go out of their way and try and give you guys the best reaction possible. But people like Chris, people like Selflow, and other community channels that ruined the search engine for everybody that's up and coming, for everybody that hasn't got their foot in the door yet, and they stopped innovation. Nobody can innovate anymore because all people care about is seeing how many girls can you kiss? Our new girls are all sluts. And people going to the hood and saying, oh, our new black people were violent. Look at them. They punched them in the face again. Or just people always faking stupid fucking shit that is not funny, not innovative, and you're stopping progress. Now that you know this, what can you do to help? For starters, you can tweet this video to Keemstar. His Twitter is in the description. 
please tweet him this video so that he can see it and maybe do a video about it and whip Chris a brand new asshole and shine light on this problem. Another thing that you could do if you don't want to tweet to Keemstar or if you want to do both, this video on Facebook, spread the word, link it on your Instagram, anything. Tell your mom about it. Tell your sister about it. Go to your neighbor's door, knock on his door right now, tell him to watch this video. If more people watch it, more people will understand that so many of these pranking videos that are huge are fake. And they're only fake because we're watching and we're rewarding them. But these people don't give a fuck about you. They don't care. All they want is your money. As you saw, Chris has passed. He's scamming people. And now in his present life, he's scamming the people that are feeding him. What kind of fucked up person is that, man? Fuck this guy. The more I think about it, the madder I actually get. Because he also ruined the search engine. And I can talk about this all fucking day. Anyway, spread this video. Tweet it to Keemstar. If you still support Prank Invasion after watching me exposing the fuck out of him, you are part of the problem and you can go fuck yourself. And if you're brand new to my channel, my name is Joel Silver. I make real videos. Go watch them. They're innovative. They're funny. They're creative. I am here to change everything. So help me change it with you, all right?